Hey guys, the Dude's Corner here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to take apart and reassemble the 5x5. Now, if you are wondering why I am uploading this video before I am uploading the 4x4, it's because you do kind of need to understand a little bit of the 5x5 mechanism before you can take apart and reassemble the 4x4. Now, one other thing that I would like to mention is that you will need to know how to take apart a 3x3 and reassemble it before you can take apart and reassemble the 5x5. It will really be helpful. So the link to that video will be down in my description below. So make sure you go check that out. So the way we're going to be taking apart this puzzle is there are actually three ways. Now the first thing is, is if none of these three ways work for you, you can take the center cap off and then just loosen up the puzzle because your cube is probably too tight. So the way we can do some of them, now each cube works differently for each one, is you kind of turn the cube just a little bit on the right and a little bit on the top. So you kind of get this gap and then you can pop out this center corner piece out. And my cube doesn't let me do that so I know that that's not an option for me to use. Another one that I could do is I turn the right side 45 degrees like this and then I grab one of these edge pieces out. My cube also will not let me do this. This one's a little more difficult but if yours lets you do that then that's the way you're going to want to take apart your puzzle. And the other way is, is you turn the top face 45 degrees and you're going to get your thumb underneath all three of the edge pieces and then you're just going to lift up. And my cube does let me do that. So that's how I know I will take apart the puzzle. Just kind of keep lifting it and it will explode. And then from there, you know, however many pieces come out, you can kind of just slowly take it apart from there. As you can tell, there's a lot of pieces in a 5x5. Five five. Okay. Pieces are dropping. Hang on. Oh, where did that go? Where's that piece? Oh, there it is. There. Now all the pieces are back together. Yay. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to organize all these pieces from edges, corners, and then centers. Okay, now that that's all organized, or I hope all the pieces are organized, um, I don't know the exact number of everything. Sorry, if any of you good people know in the comments, you can comment that. That will be much appreciated, but I do know there's eight corners. But anyway, the way we're going to be doing this is pretty similar to the 3x3, three three, um, except you're going to be making your block pairs. And I know that's kind of weird, but you'll understand what I'm doing as I go along. So I always like doing white first, so we will do white first. Uh, let's see if I can find a white center edge piece. Okay white edge and we're going to do the red next so we need to find a white red edge and we need to make sure that it's the center edge so one that has kind of like this block at the end you know that that's going to be a center edge so we can put that in there and then we can get a red center edge and we can get that right in there now we're going to do uh, this blue section here, so we need to get a blue center edge, a blue and white edge, there it is. Okay, and we're just going to get that right in there, and now we're going to get a white center edge, and we're just going to slip it in there this does get difficult and this can be long so just keep that in mind okay now you're going to turn it upside down kind of like this so that you have your two edge sides downward you're going to get a white corner and you're just going to stick it in there and you got to find a blue white edge now if you get one of you got to make sure you find the right one so now we are looking for a white red edge and there it is. Sorry if I'm making a mess here. I'm trying to keep it organized. Okay, that goes in there. Now we got to get the corner. 
Now we just got to get this edge here. And then you're going to put a corner right in there. And there we go. Now we're going to get another red edge center. One of these. A blue edge center. And then last, the middle blue red edge. And insert that right in there. Now this part can get a little difficult because sometimes it will explode. So be careful when you're putting in this edge, especially for every block pair that we will be assembling. Just like that. And as you can see, we have this first little 3x3 three three block assembled. And now we're going to go on to the next one. Now, I'm not actually going to show you how to assemble this one, because just for the sake of the line, length of this video. But you're going to build this edge part here, and then put in all the pieces on this part, and then put the last edge pair. Alright, so... This is what your second block should look like. And now after you've finished it, you should just go ahead and do the exact same thing on this block right here. So now that you have completed this block here, you're just going to do the same with this block next. Now you should have completed all the first four of the blocks, which means all your first three layers of the puzzle are built. The next thing you want to do is build the next block on yellow side. Now this is actually going to work the exact same way, you're just going to build the two edge lines here and here. So you're just going to build it the exact same way, it doesn't make a difference. Now that your fifth block is built, you're just going to do the same thing on another block right next to it, and then you only have two blocks left to build. Alright, now you only have two blocks left to build. And you're going to build these together. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get this center edge pair in first. So now you got that in, now you're going to do these. So what you're going to do is you're first going to put this, both center corners in for both these sides. Next you're going to want to put these top edges in. This edge here. This edge here. Now you're going to get the two edges for here. And then you're going to get this one here. Alright, now you got to do the corners. This gets tough, because it's not going to easily fit, so you're going to have to move this center pair out of the way. So you get a nice good size hole. And you're just going to stick it in there. Now you're going to move this side it, the opposite way. And then you're just going to do the same over on this side. Yes, this does get a little bit difficult to get in. There we go. Now we have these open gaps left. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to first put one of these corners in. Yes, once again, this can get tough. And then we're just going to go ahead and do it on the next one. I'm going to turn it around. Okay. Now you only have these two bars left. So what you're going to do is you're going to put one of them in, one of these edges in. So now you have one edge in, and you have one left to put in. You're just going to separate these two, and kind of pull this one up just a little bit, kind of like that. And make sure this edge is kind of away. This can get a little difficult to see, but just kind of angle it as best as you can, and the piece should get in. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is for the last two dots is you're going to turn the top and then turn this side up just slightly. Bring this over and then kind of hook it in there just like that. After you have one left, you're going to pull this up and then pull this out. So make sure that gap is nice and big as best as you can get it. And then the piece should go right in. Yes, that can get a little difficult. As you can tell, I kind of had a little bit of trouble. But the puzzle is reassembled and working just fine. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to hit that like button. 
and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already for there will be a 4x4 teardown and reassemble coming out very soon. So thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.